Aloha everyone and welcome to Skincare with Hiram. If you don't know who I am, my name's Hiram and I'm passionate about teaching you how to- Nope. <laughs> Why did my fingers go the wrong way? If you don't know who I am, my name's Hiram and I'm passionate about teaching you how to perfect your skincare routine. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week. It is time yet again for another video where I make skincare routines for you guys. I love doing these types of videos because it's an opportunity for me to really connect with you guys and help you as much as possible because I realize that not everyone is as unhealthily obsessed with skincare as I I am, and I know some of you guys have concerns and it is my favorite thing to help you out. Now, how did I do this? Well, first of all, if you don't follow me on Instagram, which, girl, where have you been? If you guys wanna see a whole nother side of me, my life in Hawaii, humor-esque stuff, I guess, maybe, definitely go follow me on Instagram. But so many of you guys sent me your concerns and your skincare routines, and it was just so incredible to read through all of the responses. I wish I could respond to all of them. Like, I always wish I could create five more of my bodies and just respond to everyone, but unfortunately, <sighs> I can't, which is why I like to create these videos so that I can answer as many of them as I can, but also kind of spread the message to a larger audience. But if you do want a chance at being featured in one of these videos, feel free to go follow me on my Instagram and send me a message there. So let's get into it. Interrupting real quick, I know it's a total change of scenery. You're probably wondering what is going on. I am in Chicago right now. Today's video is thankfully sponsored by Poshmark. If you guys aren't familiar with Poshmark, it's basically like a thrift store in an app, but you can find like really, really nice things. Now, when it comes to me personally, I am not the type of person who likes to buy anything full price. Any type of clothes have to be on sale if I'm going to be purchasing them. But sometimes I do like the finer things in life. I have some favorite designers that I would not be caught dead purchasing full price, but you can find me on Poshmark looking for items from those brands. Some of the items that you can find on there are 75 to 90% off. Crazy good deals. And I have my own shop where I'm selling some of my own personal items because I inevitably end up spending money on things that I won't use. And a bitch is cheap. Amen. <laughs> if you guys are interested in purchasing any of my clothing or you're interested in finding designer goods, whether it be like clothing or home goods, and you are cheap like myself, be sure to go to the link in my description box to download Poshmark for free. You can follow me there. My username is just Hiram basic Hiram, and you'll be able to see the items that I'm going to be selling now and in the future. And if you do decide to purchase any of my items, I will include a little handwritten thank you note just expressing my gratitude for you and the support that you show me because you guys are awesome. So real quick, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm selling on my Poshmark. to Poshmark for sponsoring this video and thank you guys as always for being super supportive of my sponsorships. I'm so lucky that I have this opportunity and I think it's also going to be really fun to connect with you guys on the app. So if you are interested, feel free to download Poshmark, use it, follow me, all that stuff, and enjoy the video. As I start this video, I do want to say all the recommendations that I make and the advice that I give you guys is purely just my own personal opinion. You are more than welcome to find a second, third, fourth, fifth opinion, or if you really are concerned about the state of your skin, feel free to go to your esthetician or dermatologist to get it treated. My message is always skin safety first and make sure you're very careful when implementing new products and new routines into your life. This is all just to help you guys out and I'm doing no more than what your average employee at Sephora or Ulta would would do. Ah, I'm so excited. This message is from Anna. She says, hi Ram, I need your help. I have so much dark circles and I don't know what to do to get rid of them or at least make them decrease a little. What do you suggest? I hope everything is okay. Lots of kisses from Portugal. Wow, Portugal, that's so far away. That's awesome. So dark circles is a really tricky topic because there's two different types of dark circles that you can have. There's first genetic dark circles, which is something that naturally occurs in the body. It's just DNA genetics. You can't change it. It's natural to have that darkness underneath your eye. The only thing that you can do is like a corrective procedure or using concealer, unfortunately. But there is the dark circles that come with time when you're not getting very much sleep, you aren't using a sunscreen, you're stressed, different things like that. And those dark circles you can help to get rid of. Now the under eye area is also very tricky because it is the most sensitive part of our face. So it's hard to go in with really intense treatments on the area without risking some sensitivity. But what I personally recommend is first the CeraVe eye cream. I think this is an amazing starter product because the second ingredient is niacinamide and niacinamide is a great brightening agent but it's also really good for sensitive skin. This eye cream is one of the most affordable out there and personally one that I just really like and I think is a great starter for trying to get rid of that. Now if it persists and it's still not going away, <gasps> what was that? 
I've really been enjoying the first ABD retinol eye cream. Retinol can be amazing for getting rid of darkness and any type of damage your skin has faced. And the formulation of this product is really impressive. Normally I don't go out of my way to buy eye creams because I usually don't think they're worth it. But when I saw this formula, I was like, ooh, that is definitely one that I like. And so far my experience with it has been good. So I'd recommend either of those products, hopefully to help you get rid of them. Thank you so much for the message. The next one is from Jade. She says, hi Hiram, I just discovered your YouTube channel and I wish I had sooner. Oh, <laughs> your advice and information about ingredients has really made me take a second look at the skincare products I was using. Yay, that is the goal. I just have a question. I've been using an electric cleansing rotating brush for years now with my cleanser. Do you think that is too harsh on my skin to be using the brush twice a day? Mm -hmm. It's very soft bristles, but I wanted to know if it may be too much exfoliation for the skin to do it twice a day. Okay, <laughs> yes, definitely, definitely too much exfoliation. My experience with cleansing brushes has changed a little bit over the years. I had one of those rotating ones that I absolutely loved, but the problem with cleansing brushes that rotate completely is that they can really pull and tug at the skin and can really contribute to a lot of inflammation and sensitivity. They're just too abrasive on the skin in my opinion. Now, I do like the Clarisonic. The Clarisonic is really gentle and it just goes back and forth really rapidly. But that being said, I personally don't recommend using the Clarisonic more than three times a week. I used to use it every day, but after a little while, I found that that was just way too sensitive. And because it is exfoliating, I think at most every other day is what sh you should opt for. Definitely do not do it twice a day. Please, please don't use any type of brush cleansing system twice a day. That is way too much exfoliation for your face. You could face a lot of long-term irritation and sensitivity. I don't recommend that whatsoever, but if you want to do it like three times a week, I definitely think you're good to go. Thank you, Jade. This one's from Kennedy. She's says, hi Aram, I recently started watching you on YouTube and I am obsessed with your personality and videos. Thank you, Kennedy. I have a question that may require your expertise. Expertise? Where? To give expertise, you would need to be an expert. And I am by far not an expert, <laughs> but I'll do the best I can. <laughs> I've watched several of your videos of yours that talk about double cleansing after wearing makeup, specifically cleansing with an oil. However, is it bad to use a cleansing oil if you have quite acne prone skin? I started using a cleansing oil a couple of months ago and my acne has gotten significantly worse. Oh no, I'm sorry. Um, any suggestions? Thanks in advance, love, of course. Um, so yes, I think it is sometimes common that people with really acne prone skin will have breakouts when they start using a cleansing oil. And I think there's two different reasons for this. First off, the most common response that I get for someone who said a cleansing oil broke them out is that I'll always ask like, oh no, like what type of cleansing oil did you use? They'll tell me what type of water cleanser did you use afterwards? And they're like, wait, you're supposed to use a face cleanser after? And I'm like, yeah. And the response is always, oh, I thought you could just do cleansing oil and then wash off with water, which is definitely not true. Cleansing oils are amazing for breaking up the sebum and the makeup on your face, but in order to get it out of your skin, you need a face cleanser. But I also think breakouts can be attributed to the type of oil that you use. The most common cleansing oil that I find in products is olive oil. And while olive oil can be really good for breaking up makeup on the skin, it also can be comedogenic, which means it's gonna clog pores. So I have two recommendations. First. Off, I would say try a cleansing oil that is not an olive oil based cleanser. I personally love the iUnique Calendula Complete Cleansing Oil. The main one in this one is sunflower seed oil followed up by canola oil. Both of those are incredible for getting rid of makeup on the face as well as hydrating the skin, but don't have the pore clogging side effects that olive oil typically does. But if you are wanting to avoid oils altogether, another good way of double cleansing is to use a micellar water. I love the Bioderma micellar water. I've recently just fallen in love with this product when of the best micellar waters out there and it's so affordable. I have had moments in the past where I started to break out and I didn't know if it was from cleansing oil, so I always switched over to micellar waters and the result was always so good. So I would say try one of those two things, but I hope your skin gets better and the breakouts resolve soon. Okay, this one's from Rose. She says, hi Hiram, I have a question about what kind of food has an effect on the different skin types. By the way, I love your YouTube channel and I know you're probably not gonna apply or anything. Surprise, bitch. But you motivated me to look after my skin correctly and I wanna say thank you. That's so amazing. That makes me so happy to see. I love seeing that. So yes, definitely. A lot of times people underestimate the power that a diet has on the skin. So many people will say, drink water to get rid of your acne. It'll help so much. And there has been no scientific link between clear skin and water consumption. However, there has definitely been a proven link between a diet and clear skin. And I think a lot of people look over that. I've had a lot of clients in the past come up to me and they're like, I've used so many different products. I've tried everything. I've tried so many different exfoliating ingredients and retinols and nothing is working to get rid of this crazy acne on my skin. And usually I would respond with, 
Have you ever tried looking at your diet? Have you considered cutting out milk for a little while, cutting out gluten for a little while? And so many times when they have, their skin has like miraculously cleared up. Am I saying that diet is always the cause of bad acne? Definitely not. There's a bunch of different contributing factors, but I think it is wise if your acne is persistent and not going away to try supplementing things out of your diet and see if it has any effect. If I had a dollar for every single person I know that cut milk out of their diet and saw a huge improvement in their skin, I would have a lot of dollars. So it's just a consideration and I highly recommend staying healthy while testing out a few different things. This one's from Emily. She says, hey, long shot, but I recently discovered YouTube and I have literally been binge watching all of your videos. Thank you. I love skincare, especially recently. I was just wondering if you have any tips for getting rid of spots or pimples without leaving scars or anything, or is there like a quick way to get rid of them? Any advice would be amazing. I love you, by the way. Oh, I love you too, Emily. Yes, yeah, so I do have a few recommendations. Acne scars, or another term for it is post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. It's those spots, those leftover scars we get after having acne or pimples. And those oftentimes, at least for me, are the most difficult thing about getting a breakout. I don't stress as much about the big pimple on my face as much as I do the dark spot or scar that's gonna come afterwards. And it's really tricky to get rid of. Two different things I recommend. First of all, a niacinamide product. I love the Ordinary Niacinamide Serum. This one is so good because it has so many different types of benefits. But like I was saying before, niacinamide is a great brightening agent and it's made a huge difference in my skin for acne scars and post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. It just really helps to fade away the darkness. A multi-purpose product that I really like for treating the pimple while also preventing the dark spot is Zit Stick. I've talked about them on my channel before, but I like it because it has a blend of salicylic acid and niacinamide to help get rid of the breakout, but also prevent against that darkness happening. But if niacinamide doesn't work for you, then I recommend upgrading to a retinol because retinol is really good for undoing damage in your skin. And then another product that I recently discovered, actually the brand Kinship sent this to me. I haven't tried it yet, but looking at the formula, I really like it. It's a pimple potion spot treatment that has both retinol and salicylic acid. And I think that's awesome because really stubborn breakouts or scars that will not go away, in my opinion, can be best treated by retinol. So the fact that this is blended with both of those ingredients, I think is really cool. I hope that helped. This one is from Madison. She says, I did have a question I was hoping you wouldn't mind answering. I typically don't wear makeup unless it's for an event. So I will go my whole day with no makeup and then tend to apply makeup around 4 p.m. Do you recommend doing my full skincare routine again that I already did in the morning before I apply makeup? I always hear beauty YouTubers say, wash your face first, but I have to be honest and say, I normally don't, LOL. I was just not sure how full I should go to prep my skin before makeup. I love everything you're doing and so thankful I found you. Oh, thank you. I'm glad I saw your message. Um, so personally, I would say don't redo your entire skincare routine. As much as you want to do feel that squeaky clean feeling, washing your face three times a day is not good for your skin whatsoever. In my opinion, it overly strips it. And while you don't want too much sebum or oil in your skin, it's also important that your skin goes through the natural cycle of producing the natural oils it needs to be able to hydrate and protect itself. And if you're constantly cleansing your face, you are stripping your skin of that ability and compromising your moisture barrier, which is gonna lead to a bunch of other issues that you do not want to face. I would personally say, if anything, the only thing that you really should reapply is sunscreen. I would say before you go in with makeup, maybe a layer of sunscreen. But other than that, I personally don't think it's problematic as long as you follow up with a good double cleansing system at the end of the day and good treatments to follow afterwards. If you are worried about breaking out, I would say go in with a salicylic acid treatment just to make sure nothing's clogging your pores. But I think you should be good. This one's from Mel. She says, your channel has made my skincare game so much stronger. Thanks for the inspiration. I was wondering if you had any tips for textured skin. Oh, I remember why I screenshotted this. And then she replied to my story saying, the AHA BHA solution from the ordinary, erase my textured skin, thank you. <laughs> Which I thought was just so awesome. I love it when I see messages like this. Some of you guys have sent me before and after pictures, which just literally makes my life. I cannot even explain to you how happy that makes me. Which is why I do try to make more videos rather than responding to every single one of your messages. Because I feel like if I'm able to talk about these topics and recommend products in a video that you guys can watch, it's gonna be a way more accessible way of people being able to get tips for their skincare. I'm so happy to see this. The next one says, my question is, how do you fix damaged pores? Ooh. I've been guilty of using the pore removal tools in the past that have left small scars or made the pore even bigger. Yep, yep. 
I've learned my lesson, but how do I fix past damage? So sorry to break it to you, but if you have really permanently damaged your pores, like you see a scar or redness, usually the only way that you can repair that is through a treatment or procedure performed by a dermatologist. I have done this exact same tool. I at one point had this pore removal tool that I really liked and I still, I don't know if you guys can see, I have red marks on my nose that still show the permanent damage that I created just from doing that, which is why when it comes comes to like pore extractions and different intense do it at home treatments, I get so freaked out because I firsthand have experienced the damage that can occur and fixing your pores is not cheap at all. Like just repairing broken capillaries in the skin can cost like thousands of dollars. And that's why I'm always saying don't do treatments at home, leave it for your esthetician or dermatologist to handle because they have been specialized and trained in those areas. Just focus on the products for you. And from what it sounds like, these concerns would best be addressed by a dermatologist because I don't wanna recommend any products that could make your situation even worse. So just go to your dermatologist. I recommend doing that instead. This one is from Mora. She says, hi Hiram, I'm a recent subscriber follower. Can you make a recommendation for a good day moisturizer and night moisturizer for painfully dry skin? I am willing to invest. Okay. Okay, yeah, so um, two different ones that I know of. One that I constantly recommend, it's the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. I talk about this one all the time because it really did help me with, with my eczema when I lived in the mainland because over here I'm oily, but when I'm back in the mainland, my skin gets so dry. And I lived in an area that had about 1% humidity and that was one of the only products that really helped with that. I think it's a good, more affordable one, definitely a recommendation. But if you do want to invest in kind of like a more luxury product that is just, ugh, I hate that I love it, but it's just so good. It's the Dr. Brandt Hyaluronic Facial Cream. I was given this and I wanted to hate it when I first got it because it's not cheap, but every single time I use this moisturizer, whenever I wake up in the morning, because I have more oily skin during the day, so I use it at night here. Whenever I wake up, my skin is hydrated, so plump, dewy, moisturized. It's just amazing. It's just giving me some of the best results. There is one fragrant essential oil in this, but I hardly smell it, so I personally don't have a problem with it. Again, like I said before, definitely love luxury purchase, but if you do want to like splurge a little bit, I really, really love this one. Okay, and then the last question, because I'm already on 40 minutes of filming this. Um, This is from Anna. She says, hi Hiram, maybe you won't answer this because a lot of people probably write you. <laughs> you're not kidding about that, but you're lucky. I love your channel. After skincare has become a priority of mine, your channel gives me life. Yes. So I'm wondering if you have some advice in to how to reduce or shrink pores and make your skin look more polished and tight. I will say um, in terms of shrinking your pores, making them smaller, that is physically impossible, unfortunately. Pore size is determined by a lot of different factors like genetics and the environment that you're in. And once your pores kind of like grow to a certain size, there's really no going back. They're just always going to be that big, but there are solutions to help make your pores look more invisible and less noticeable. And I have to say, there's only been one product my entire life that physically made my pores look smaller, the Paula's Choice 2% BHA liquid. This is the only product I have ever used in my entire life where when I used it and I woke up the next day, my pores physically looked smaller. I don't even know how that can happen. It's crazy to me, but the first time I used this, I was like, what the fuck? My pores actually look smaller and they look more clean, which is honestly why I think why this is one of the best selling skincare products in the world, because it just is that good. It's amazing for anyone who's struggling with pimples, breakouts, but also whiteheads or blackheads. And I always recommend it to anyone who's looking to make their pores look more invisible. I highly recommend it. All right, and that was all the messages. I'm so glad I was able to get through all the ones that I screenshotted because I was low key worried that I was not gonna make it in time. But thank you guys so much for messaging me. Like I said before, if you do feel like shopping any of the recommended products that I said, feel free to use the links below. I make a small commission which supports me and I would really appreciate it, but no pressure whatsoever. I just hope I spread a little bit more information and knowledge out there that would hopefully help any of you guys with your skin concerns, whether you sent me a message or whether you're just watching. Like I said before, go follow me on Instagram and feel free to send me a message for a chance to be featured in another one of these videos and plus I would love to connect with you guys on Instagram like seeing you guys comment like I have a much smaller following there so it's really cool to be able to see who's commenting your faces your lives everything like that so feel free to go follow me do you have any product recommendations for any of these issues comment down below I want to hear your thoughts and if you haven't already be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video Mwah.